All right, so we've been focusing in on investments and economy and medium-term budgets. Well, let's change tack slightly. We're still talking about investing, but in something completely different. It appears that wine truly tastes better with age. Now, a bottle of the beverage was sold for a record-breaking 7.9 million rand at a New York auction recently. Experts have noticed that wine collections are increasingly becoming a valuable asset and a great investment. To discuss this further, we're now joined in studio by Christelle Common, who's the Managing Director of Elite Risk Acceptances. Good to have you here in studio. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. <clears throat> I can imagine a lot of people sitting there and saying, what? Yes. A bottle of wine sold for 7.9 million rand? You've got to be kidding me. So investing in wine has become a thing. It's, it's been a thing for quite a while, okay. actually. It's quite a mature alternative investment class. And what makes it so interesting and I think so enjoyable is the fact that um, the wine, you know, sorry, now if I lost my train of thought right there when I thought about enjoying the wine. Yeah, exactly. That, that um, gen generally happens. But, um, but yeah, what we have seen is that um, as an alternative investment class, it's similar to gold. You know, it's a tangible um, item that you invest in. And there's also a shortage of supply of wine around the world. And they say only a point, about 0.01 one percent of wine produced around the world is part, you know is a potential investment um, item so um, it really is it's specialist it's something that you really have to understand because there's a lot of fraudulent act activity in oh, the wine sure. investment world but what we have seen is that globally um, the return on investment in 2017 was around um, 12 percent which is much higher than the previous desirable sort of alternative investment class, class which was classic cars which ended up at around six percent mm. so um, for those in the know and for those who are own wine collections it's it's a very profitable investment to make but the purpose of the discussion is around ensuring these collections you know if you if you buy and invest so much money in in, in this um, in this class and we see it in South Africa we see large wine collections mostly imported wine you have to make sure that that those items are correctly insured okay. otherwise if there's a fire I mean we've seen you know the fires around South Africa going at the moment we saw Neisner you know a year ago so if there's a fire um, if you lose that collection if there's a, a, a you know a robbery a break in into your home or accidental damage, you have to make sure that you've got your insurance place. Well, I mean, it, in place. it is important, but I mean, I, 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 to insure all of these valuable items and things that, that you have got such an incredible value. Now, I mean, I, I'm just fascinated by the whole issue of wine, and I, I'd always believe that wine actually does sort of eventually spoil. But if you're investing in a wine, I mean, how, how long can you keep well, wines for? That, well, that's the sort of very, one of the very important um, aspects of investing in wine is the way this wine is stored. You know, you, if you buy the wine from the place of purchase, how it's being brought back to South Africa and how you store the wine will eventually impact on your ability to resell it. Um, if you go to the, the, you know, these, these online wine um, trading platforms or uh, specialists who trade in wine, one of the first things that they will want to understand is has the wine been stored in a climate? controlled environment mm. and have you been able to preserve the wine correctly because that's that's all it's about so wine is another thing about wine compared to you know spe specifically gold is that wine can appreciate in value if you store it correctly you know if they've been um, able to taste this wine around the world and if there's a demand for the specific wine the wine can actually appreciate in value and again that's something when it comes back to insurance is you have to make sure that you have a policy where you can replace the bottle of wine at the appreciated value. Amazing. It's not just, you know, normal insurance. There's a, yeah. there's a specific element. Uh, so this it. is specific. I mean, the, 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 the insurance that, that people take out with you, I mean, it's very specific yes. and it goes for, are we talking wine, but I mean, there's, people out there that collect incredible things. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, what, what are some <laughs> of the most wonderful things? Well, what's some of the most amazing <laughs> I, things I'm not that going to mention to all the things because I've, be, I've been in trouble before because I've sort of let the cat out of the bag, yeah. <laughs> bag of what wonderful things people collect. But for instance, we had a guy in Cape Town who had a, a Coca-Cola memorabilia collection with 750,000 Rand. Mm. Now you might go, I mean, it's like one of the geekiest things I think yeah. that you can collect, but there's a market for it. People trade in memorabilia. Um, they, they you know, people collect obviously um, designer labels when it comes to clothing, handbags, 
whiskey. Uh, um, you mentioned briefly, you know, what about cigars? You know, the problem with cigars is if it goes up in fire, can you claim for it? <laughs> can you? That's my question. Well, if it goes up in a home fire or a, a, uh, not, not, up not in if a, you smoke. In a nice smoking fire. And the same with wine. If, you know, we don't, we don't insure against mis um, d uh, mysterious disappearances, you know, if it goes down in your, if you drink your wine, you can't, you can't claim for it. Yeah. But, um, but really, and, and when, you, when you do collect items, it's very important that you are insured in, in the right way and that you can, uh, yeah, that you are able to replace that item it, or that collection. I mean, over the years, obviously collections have changed and things that people enjoy collecting. I mean, I, I had mentioned stamps to you and I yes. always remembered stamps being yeah. a very big thing and increasing in value. Obviously, art is something that uh, mm. people have collected for centuries and, and will continue to do so for centuries to come. But these things change all the time. I mean, stamps is falling away. Well, I, know, I think it was very popular for us as kids to collect stamps. Um, and and you just, you, obviously you still find stamp collections and coin collections, and those are insured on a very specific basis. Yeah. But something that... Um, yeah, so, so the, again, you have to be able to put a value to the collection and then, and, and then insure it against that. But uh, we were uh, you know, mentioning earlier on um, uh, the change in what people collect, you know, ch and, and because, you know, is there a market for it? And what's interesting is when our parents were collecting antique furniture, they, you know, they spent a lot of money on it. And it's not such a desir desirable class of, um, you know, trading in antique furniture, for instance, as it is to trade in wine and classic cars. Yeah. So, um, yes, and vintage clothes. Do, like you were saying, vintage clothes. clothes. Yeah. Yes, a there's a market well. for it. You know? What about encyclopedias? Somebody actually said to me, yes. do not get rid of your encyclopedias. Well, I wouldn't because I just think it's such a wonderful thing to keep. But, it, but is there value in it? <laughs> well, though? there's definitely a value in book collections. So not just encyclopedias, but a collection of books. And one of the most um, valuable collections that we have in South Africa is actually at Tainos, uh, Cecil, Cecil John Rhodes. Um, mm. He didn't uh, have, um, it, he couldn't, um, uh, well, not Italian, what's the classic language? And it's just gone out of my Latin. head. Latin. Yeah. He, couldn't, he couldn't speak and write Latin. So he commissioned the classic works of Latin to be translated into English. And that whole collection is in red leather bound books, handwritten for Cecil John Rhodes. Wow. For him, he would you know, be able to speak on the global a platform on a global platform about the Latin works, but he couldn't read Latin. So you get those sort of very rare book collections that have immense value. And again, you know, you have to make sure that you've got the right insurance Phenomenal. cover for about it. That's so interesting. So we talk about wine, which has got immense value. I mean, when we talk about uh, a previous record that was sitting at 3 million rand, well, a bottle now sold in New York for 7.9 million rand. So figure it out. You may be holding an amazing bottle of wine and you better insure it because once it's gone, it's gone. Thanks so much for talking to it's us. It's a pleasure. Really interesting. <laughs> Managing Director of Elite Risk Acceptances, specializing in uh, very elite things to insure so that you can keep their value. Christelle Coleman, our guest here on Morning Light. Let's take a break. We'll have Shop Shop after this. Stay tuned.